So we've spent the last few minutes having a look at some of the prerequisites for setting up multi-homing. What we're going to do now is try some simple worked examples. We're going to look at two cases. Uh, we're going to look at multi-homing with the same ISP. And then a bit later on, we're going to look at multi-homing to different ISPs. Uh, what I'm going to try and do here is keep the examples as simple as possible, because understanding the easy concepts will make the more complex scenarios that we're going to look at later on easier to understand as well. And for all these examples, we're going to assume that the site multi-homing has an IPv4 address block, which is a slash 19 in size. I mean, these examples will work for all sizes of v4 and or IPv6 address space. But we're going to work through all these examples using just IPv4 and the assumption that the site that's multi-homing has a slash 19. And so this type of basic multi-homing is the most common found at the edge of the internet. Networks here are usually concerned with inbound traffic flows. Outbound traffic flows are usually nearest exit, and that's quite often enough for most of these edge networks to deal with. And this could apply for a LEAF ISP, or could apply for an enterprise network, or university campus, and so on. Later on in this series, we're going to look at traffic engineering for outbound traffic. But for now, we will look just at inbound traffic flows. Thank you.